Wes Streeting is absolutely right in saying that more money is not the answer to fixing the NHS. What's the answer to fixing the NHS is getting rid of the stagnant layer of bureaucrats that are impeding progress. And Streeting told Sky News today uh, that the Institute for Fiscal Studies uh, had warned that Labour's ambitions for the NHS would require more spending uh, than is promised in the manifesto and that they had fallen into the trap of believing the answer to every single question must be more money. I think more money is needed, but I don't think that's the answer. And he says, we never talk about the £170 billion we already spend on the NHS and how it could be spent better because people can't get a GP appointment. That would cost £40. They end up in A&E, which costs £400 and is worse for the patient, more expensive for the taxpayer. We've got to break the system whereby GPs, for example, don't work weekends, whereby the, um, the, the, pa the patients can't get seen at the best time, which is before the real damage is done. Picking up the price for a serious operation is more expensive than intervening at the right time. Putting people in hospital because you haven't treated them earlier is not only more expensive, but it's more depressing for the population. We need to ensure, first of all, that the bureaucracy which is there is working, which means there has to be a link between the information collected by the GP and the information collected by the hospitals and the information available to the patient. It all has to be the same. I have spoken on here a few times about how when I went into a hospital most recently, the hospital didn't talk to a sister hospital in another trust, even after I directed them to do so, even, if they, even after they promised to do so, and I was then given the wrong treatment as a result because they didn't consult. More than that, when that wrong treatment became evident and my wounds opened up about a week or so after I came out of hospital and I was bleeding then for about 10 days, bleeding copiously to the, to the extent that I had to be readmitted into hospital and, um, you know, it, it was painful and frightening. Uh, and I bled on my notes. And I thought it would be useful once I survived and once I got out of the hospital to have those notes again. And I asked my GP for a copy of my notes. And what he gave me was something which was completely different to the notes that I had previously received. Not only did it look different, which I concede may, may, may be an issue that could be um, accepted, but the information was different. The information had been revised and tweaked and changed to conform with my survival of cancer. And I think that's wrong. And when I'd cleaned off the original notes, I was able to compare the two versions completely hip. There was almost nothing that was consistent in those two sets of notes. And I don't think I trust that sort of system. And I'm not alone. So until we get the bureaucracy right, until we get one consistent, reliable, trustworthy bureaucracy, we cannot have a national health service that is um, that, that is capable of delivering on time and in budget and to everyone who needs it at the point they need it. Because underlying the entirely good work done by doctors and nurses and cleaners and staff is the chaos of the bureaucrats who are untrained and unsuited for the work that they do and overpaid. You don't hear of the bureaucrats going out on strike, do you? 
you only hear of the junior doctors who are paid such a pittance for the amount of work they do. I remember again going back to my last time in hospital when I was have been diagnosed with cancer and on my last day I remember two junior hospital two junior doctors one on each arm desperately trying to get a uh, to, to get a needle into my arms to take blood and in the end they both gave up they they ended up trying to do it in the thumb which is a particularly painful place having gone all the way down the arm both of them and they were so stressed and I'm afraid in the end we all had a giggle and but they gave up because they couldn't do it because they and they and their time was so constrained I urged them to go off on to somebody else because they didn't need to do it. And finally they agreed. Later on, there was an extremely, extremely capable nurse who had got blood out of me before, and um, she did it in about two minutes. So it's about stress, and it's about uh, too much... Too much stress, too much responsibility put on the shoulders of people who are overworked. In the meantime, the indolent, the lazy and the cash-grabbing bureaucrats upstairs simply are not worth the money. If they were worth the money, the system would work. The system doesn't work. They aren't worth the money. Get rid of most of them. <laughs>